So Christmas is over, you're done with chocolates, you're done with sweets, well maybe not completely done, you've got a couple more days until the new year and then your resolutions are going to start, they're going to kick in, you're going to lose weight, you're going to get more organized, you're going to make sure you have those eight glasses of wine a day. Or is that water? It doesn't matter because I'm not talking to you about the plain Jane resolutions. I'm talking to you about seven unique resolutions that you might not have thought of that are free to do that will change your life forever. So hang in and watch that right after you see my lovely Christmas intro that I only have like a few more days of playing because it's almost the new year. It's Dre with Clueless Mummy D here. I do mummy lifestyle with laughs contents on my channel. And I don't like doing anything alone on the holidays. Who does? So I am taking part in a collaboration where me and a bunch of lovely ladies have gotten together to share with you some awesome resolution ideas. There is nothing better when you're trying to make a goal, achieve a goal, then connecting with people who are doing the same thing to keep you accountable, to keep you motivated. So make sure you check out the playlist in the description and make sure you do a special hi from Mama D for Heidi, Heidi and Baby. She is the host of the collab and I've been getting to know her recently and she is super sweet and super genuine off of the videos as well as in them. Now guys, honestly, in the past when I do resolutions, I don't like to fail. If I set a goal, I really like to achieve it. So sometimes I reach really, really small and make little small goals, but then I achieve them, but I'm going big this year. Anyways, before I do that, I'm going to give you the opportunity to go ahead and hit subscribe right now and make sure you hit the bell because YouTube's super weird. If you don't hit the bell, you're still never going to see me. So subscribe and hit the bell. If you didn't subscribe and hit the bell, I think your new year's resolution should be making sure you don't squander awesome opportunities that were right in front your face. Let's get to the seven resolutions and you comment below and let me know which one is unique and if you're going to adopt any of these. So the first one that I thought is super fun and we are going to definitely do it is create your own tradition. Tradition is huge and it's sad when it gets lost but how about making your own tradition that your grandbaby's grandbaby's grandbaby <laughs> Grab it, grab it, grab it. You get the point. That down the line, they get to say that you guys came up with it. Now, during Christmas time, I was over at my brother in law's, and his wife has a fun tradition of making the kids make food for the reindeers, reindeer food, and they sprinkle it on the lawn. So there's not just Santa getting all the cookies. And I thought that was such a cute tradition. So some ideas that you can do is something that you just do on a holiday, or it could be something you do once a week while you eat dinner with your family. Like maybe you guys do trivia on Tuesdays during dinner. I think that was cool to connect. Or what we've decided to do, and we did get this from another friend, is make our own happy birthday song. So we are going to write a happy birthday song that is just unique from our family and every time someone in the family has it, we're going to sing it. It's going to be cheesy, but it's going to be awesome. We need laughter guys. We need laughter and sometimes on a rainy day where you're feeling sad and lonely, what about a book of laughter? I think that this is brilliant and I think I'm totally adopting this. No, I don't think I know I'm going to do this. So when you come across something funny, your kids do something cute that you want to remember or someone gives you a joke, write it down in your book of laughter. Guys, laughter literally helps prevent diseases. It reduces stress. It builds up your immune system. It builds up antibodies. It puts more endorphins. It does so much goodness for you. Why not have a book of memories that's laughter that you can remember that you can pass around? Oh my gosh, I thought this was super cute. When you see something funny, hear something funny or a funny memory, jot it down in a little journal book and you're good to go. Be a superhero. Now this is definitely something I'm gonna do. And I know you guys are like, come on, you're not a superhero. Not that you would know if I was, but we all can be a superhero. I know you've heard this before, but go ahead and donate some blood this year. Guys, that is the best gift you can do. Or go ahead if you're comfortable with this and be an organ donor. Guys, you can literally save a life. Superhero. I still have the wine. It was left over from today's company. Don't judge me.
Number four is the one I was telling you guys about that is going to be a huge game changer commitment for me. I am going to be doing what is called the Miracle Challenge. No, that's not what it's called. I am going to be doing what is called the Miracle Morning Challenge. I am not a morning person. I have told myself that my whole life. My mom's not. My grandma's not. It's like probably 4 a.m. where my grandma lives right now and she's probably awake ready to talk if I called her. Here's the thing though, it's been proven that if you get some more stuff done in the morning, you're gonna have a better day throughout. Well, I'm ready, I'm ready to make the change this year and I'm gonna try what is called the Miracle Morning Collab. It's based on a book and there's like this whole movement surrounding it. I am doing a collaboration. You will see my journey on how it goes. I will do four videos over a month. I'm teaming up with some good YouTube friends, but you guys are welcome to join us if you want to. Even if you're not a YouTuber, you can join us on Instagram and just DM us and let us know how you're doing. But basically, real short, we're gonna be waking up at 6 a.m. every day. We're gonna be exercising every morning. Yes, I said exercising in the morning. We're gonna be reading, I'm gonna be reading my Bible, we're gonna be praying, we're gonna be, if you don't pray, you can meditate, it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna get so much stuff done before our kids wake up or what have you, that the rest of the day will just follow suit. That's a big one for me, guys, it's a big one. <laughs> This one is so simple to do, but it's like so important and so underrated, and that is brush your tongue. I hope you guys didn't get a good shot at my tongue. Tongues are full of bacteria. Think about it. We use our tongue to actually break down stuff and throw it down into our throat. So why are we not brushing it clean every day? Some of us are, and I know you're, you're just typing right now, I brush my tongue every day. <laughs> well, here's your gold star, but not everybody does. So, Let's start brushing our tongue and the trick to remembering that that I thought of, I mean, maybe you can think of something better and put it in the comments is go ahead and tie an elastic around the band of your toothbrush so that just in the beginning of the year, you're like, oh yeah, I gotta brush my tongue. That's why this elastic's on there. And apparently it only takes like 21 days to break a habit. I think there's a book on that too. I don't know. But 21 days and you're gonna be saying you're gonna brush your tongue every day. This one is a no more snooze button. Now I'm just gonna full confession on this guys. I had to make, well, I'm not really a big snooze here, but some of the things that I, or some of the advice I'm gonna give you to break the habit of you're a snoozer, I had to adopt because I don't know what happened, but I slept through my alarm twice this year twice this year and I was late for work and like that's never happened to me before because I don't normally hit snooze so either I wasn't setting my alarm or I was just sleeping through the alarm one of the ways that you can stop your snooze thing which is what I've had to do because I never want to be late for work again even though my work's totally awesome um, is put your phone or your alarm far away from the bed so that you have to get physically out of the bed and turn it off. So that's what I've done and that's worked for me. But if you're anything like my husband who has adopted, if you're, but if you're anything like my husband who has created a form of unique torture, which is to hit snooze seven times despite the fact that we still co-sleep with our baby and I still sleep and he gets up super early sometimes. He hits snooze, no joke, like seven times until I freak out at him. He needs to do some things in the New Year's and if that's you, you can actually download some apps on your phone, some alarm apps. They're like pretty evil, honestly. There's ones where you have to shake your phone vigorously until it's convinced that you're not going back to sleep. There's ones where you literally have to walk around your phone as many steps as you put a 9, 10 or whatever and it can sense if you're walking around your phone. There's one, the most evil one I saw is where you have to do a math question. I mean, who can do math in the day, let alone when you first wake up? So anyways, do what you got to do to not hit snooze because the truth is that little bit of sleep you think you're getting is just making you sluggish for the rest of the morning. You're not getting a proper rest. It is a form of torture to whoever else might be in your bedroom and it's not setting your day off in a very successful manner. 
I had to put something weight related because I know everybody out there is trying to be healthy and I think that's great and I don't need to lose weight but I do need to be healthy. I need a strong heart. I want to be here as long as God has intended me to be on. I don't need to speed up the process. I want to be here for my family. So I got to get healthy too but I'm busy and I'm assuming you're busy too. I'm assuming it's not just my life. So you need to consider just making a small change if that is better for you something you can incorporate all the time and that is working out with everything that you do so some ways to do that is if you routinely take an elevator take the stairs stairs are so good for you they build up muscle they burn calories it's just a good way to do it or sometimes what I do around the house and I totally fell off this bandwagon but I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna pick it up and continue it when I clean the house I put ankle weights on grab yourself some ankle weights put them around your feet and clean the house you're already burning more calories than you would you're cleaning your house it's if you get used to it after a while which is great which means you've gained muscle this is me running around the house doing some things cleaning with the ankle weights on another thing you can do which I used to do when we had one of these and it's totally gone is when you sit down like if you have an office or even if you're you eat you're that ambitious sit on one of these bouncy balls they build up your core they improve your balance they improve your posture which I'm sure you guys see from my videos I could really do you know what maybe I should start sitting on a ball when I do my videos I'm gonna do it guys New Year's resolution comment below let me know what you thought was this list unique was there anything you never really thought of that you want to adopt tell me what your favorite one is below and make sure you check out the playlist the description so you get more motivation I'm sure they're gonna teach me something too again guys subscribe if you haven't especially if you like mommy lifestyle with laughs we're gonna have a great time in 2019 and I'm also starting up my second channel it's already been up there but if you're a youtuber I have a tips channel I'm going hard on there for small youtubers it's a cool community and I will link that information down below till the next video love you lovelies and happy new year in the description love you lovely